Maybe I'm not gonna sing. Maybe I'm not. Because singing is not a specialty of mine. But I have many other talents that we could begin to discuss. So I will give everybody a moment to get a notebook and a pen. And you might want to have a drink. You might want to have some cigarettes. You might even want to make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm not eating bread. I think we all might know that there would be no bread involved right now with what we're going to discuss. So you can write no bread at the top and that will be... We'll get to the Roman numerals afterwards. We will... Where do I even start with you people? I mean, it's like I almost feel like I have to go back to telling time, but I don't want to tell you the time because I don't sleep. And so time is irrelevant. When you are a time millionaire and you need sleep, then, then it doesn't matter. So I will not be teaching anybody about time because it's stupid and it makes no sense and it's just a clock and it makes noise like I do, except it's so synchronicity, you can predict what it's going to do next. But you have no idea if I'm going to say pause, I have to pee, or pause, I have to poop. And I don't because I don't poop because girls do not poop. And so enough about that because it's gross and it's an emoji and we'll just leave it at that. And if you hear any vulgarity coming, not from my sound bar, because that is required. Um, but if you hear from the basement, my kid's playing PlayStation, and so don't be alarmed. Nobody is dying down in my basement. Well, they probably are on the PlayStation. It was probably him that was dying, and that was why he was mad, because he probably would be excited if he wasn't the dead person. But now he's dead. Well, he's not yet, because that's why you don't hear him, because he's obviously doing okay. And... We're just gonna say, like, shoot for the stars. Like, be a PS4 professional. Don't do anything else. Just win every game all day long. You don't even need to get off to eat. I mean, well, I mean I'll throw food down the steps. I mean, it looks like that's what I've been doing for the last year and a half because it, it just looks like I throw all of the food that anybody would ever think about eating down in the basement. That's really just him being down there and not picking any of... I, I don't know what he does down there because I'm scared of it and I try to avoid it. It's loud, it's smelly, it's noisy, it's gross, and there's probably bugs and... Uh, bugs and me are not friends because bugs... Bugs belong outside and not in my house. That's why I moved inside and not into a tent. And I wanted a house with windows and a roof and, you know, stuff like that kept bugs out. I thought that was the point of the shelter was you sheltered away from the things that you didn't like. And I don't like my kid and I can't shelter away from him because they've forced me now with so much time with him that I actually like him. And maybe I recognized that. Well, no, I always have. I mean, he's the love of my life. But I mean, he's annoying. And I've often contemplated flushing him down the toilet. I do not because largely now he would break the toilet. And somebody would know that he... Whatever. We won't talk about euthanization and abortion. So we will now go on to the next subject. You don't really need a pencil and paper. I was lying to you, so I hope that nobody wasted any time getting a tablet because I am the ramblings of a madman. I thought we discussed in video one with the cheeseburgers that it was crazy. So if you have continued to even humor any bit of this, please let me tell you there is never going to be a point. So you might as well check out now and say goodbye. This is what I do with my life. I can't be quiet. My dad has died. He doesn't have an answering machine, and this is normally what I would do to him all fucking day long if I was bored. And that was that was my life. And it's a new life, but thank goodness for my dad <laughs> meeting somebody that works like Herbert. What, whatever. Now I can just talk to nothing again, because that's largely what I did. I mean, at least you can't even take the phone off the hook, so I can't keep calling back. And I don't have to drive to come visit you, and then you yell at me and tell me that you're tired and you want to lay down because... 
I'm not tired and I don't want to lay down. That's why I'm at your house. And I just tried to call you on the phone and then you took your phone off the hook. And so it's been Groundhog Day my entire life. It's the song that never ends. And I was offering to sing that to you, but it even bores me. I once believe I sang it all the way home from Columbus. I mean, it had to have been a long time. I mean, I know I annoyed everybody in the car with me because I could. Because I could. And I did. And we're still friends to this day. Well, at least one of the people because I don't remember who else was in the car but him. And there were some other people because I wasn't driving. So, and neither was he because he came off of a bus. So, besides that, it doesn't really matter. And he fixed my truck, too. So, thank you, Brad. You are amazing. And, um, so I have nothing to talk about, as usual. I think we've been there 12 times now. But I'll try to find a different way to say it so it doesn't sound so monotonous and repetitive and redundant and overstressed. I will try to avoid all of those things. Oh, and do you see that painting of me? That is my painting. That was hand-painted of me. I know that you might not see the resemblance, and neither do I, but the day that I bought it. So I was like, oh, did somebody paint that of you? Well, yes, I guess if I looked insane, and I... Whatever, but that's a painting of me, and I didn't even know it myself, but it does look like me, and so enjoy. I do. That's why I bought it, because... I enjoyed it, and I'm not going to get close to the detail for you because I don't want you to have one like me, and I'm not going to tell you where I bought it either because, again, I don't really care, and you don't care, and, <laughs> um, all right, oh, now back to what I was getting to that we didn't need the notebook and the bend and paper and stuff for, so what I've been doing tonight, as I have done many of times in my life, but tonight, I decided that it's something to talk about <laughs> since the cans are sitting on my table because my garbage can is overflowing and I don't feel like taking out that bag. We will decide which flavor I have liked the best out of the Bud Light seltzers. They're, I, I don't know if they're new or if they're old. I mean, they're low carb and I've recently sort of a long time ago discovered them, but not that long ago. So I have now... First was lime. I definitely had lime first because that was just the way the box opened and I grabbed one. And then because the second time now I care what I'm going to grab because I don't want it to be another green one because there's four different varieties and I like order, you know, so I'm going to have to just keep going in the same order. So I've saved the one that I hate for last and I'll tell you about it last because I'm, I haven't even opened it yet. So then next, I believe, I have the strawberry, I'm not even going to lie, and I haven't even been drinking. These are seriously, this is my third one, but it just, I don't pay attention, and they're just all sitting, and now I moved them, so I couldn't even begin. So it doesn't matter, because again, remember, this is pointless. I just have nothing to do, and I can't sit here. My kid doesn't want to talk to me. I've been talking to him all day, and he probably never wants another person to talk to him. As long as he lives, and I'm okay with that because he needs a little bit of silence. And I don't want to hear this song because, I mean, it's I guess it's an alright song if you're depressed and you want to be sad. I don't want to be those things, so I won't listen to it. So, um... Oh, this is definitely my third one because there's a, a sip taken out of it. So, I definitely did have a strawberry second. I am smart. I... I I often will second guess myself and then realize why did I even do that because I am never wrong and it's very hard for me to admit if I am and you probably would never know that because I wouldn't even be able to accept that because I'm never wrong because <laughs> I'm always right and it's amusing how that works in a giant circle that I forever stay right no matter how wrong I am. And my dad taught me that about myself. That was his master trait in life. That no matter what I did, I was the right person. And somehow, they were wrong. And he has to be right. Because it makes sense. He told me that. Well, he didn't tell me that. I just felt like that's what he was trying to say. When he was yelling at me, telling me that nobody acts like that, Jenny. And I disagreed. Because I was acting like that. And so I knew... That somebody had to be doing it, and even if that only person was me, then I, I don't really care, because clearly somebody acts like that, and 
So my hair looks really stupid. I've had a long, tough day. I've cried a lot today. Although it's Mother's Day, they were very happy tears, each and every one of them. And there were many, many happy fucking tears falling down my face for a plethora of reasons that I will maybe tell you about. Maybe I won't because I don't know how long I'll talk to you because it depends on how long I feel like talking to myself in essence because I, I see that people are saying stuff or doing something. I don't know what's going on because... I just like to look at myself. Maybe that's when I talked to my dad on the answer machine. I couldn't see myself. It didn't ever once stop me from doing this. And so I want to just thank you that I feel like you're doing him the greatest honor in life. He no longer has to listen to nothing all night long, all day long. You know, I mean, because mind you, I do this in person to him too just because I know he doesn't like it. And he likes it because it makes him, whatever. He tries to run away from me and then I imitate him. When he, it, it's been a very interesting relationship. And yes, I am 43 years old. If anybody was questioning, like, I thought this bitch was old. Oh, I am. Please do not. Do, I, I just, I don't. I like to have fun. And I didn't know that there was an age limit on fun. And so that's how I am a rock star without any kind of instrument playing abilities. I was a drummer in the middle school marching band, but they asked me not to be a drummer anymore. They said, you are not a little drummer boy. You are an angry bitch with drumsticks throwing them. So I don't play the band anymore. Nobody has ever asked me to be in a band. I would be willing to audition for a band. That's a lie. Twice as nice. Twice as nice did like me. They fancied me. Especially back in my younger days when I didn't have a child and I could really party like party people are supposed to party. <coughs> <coughs> smoker's cough. I lied one day and said it probably wasn't a smoker's cough. I'm certain that it is because I smoke a lot, an extra lot, and I always cough. And I probably don't have a cold that I've had for three years. So I apologize that... that I'm not really apologizing for anything because I'm the one coughing, so it shouldn't even bother you. I mean, I certainly can't even give you coronavirus. How lucky for you that none of us were ever probably really going to be that impacted by it, but I'm going to go with it. I'm in the house with my kid who yells at the PlayStation all day, and I don't have to yell at him. So I'm okay with it. It's working for me. I don't know about all you other parents at home. I prefer that my child sleep in until whatever time he feels like getting up. Because if I don't have to yell at him at 6.50 in the morning, and then have to... I just... I, I'm okay with this. This is what my wildest dreams were made of. Coronavirus. Who knew that it had a name? My dream had a name. <laughs> and here I am, living the dream of the coronavirus. I will cheers to that and say... Cheers. And now back to Black Cherry. It's my favorite. And so I saved it for the third one. Not by intention, but because the world works in wonders and it's magical. Um, I tried to buy six tall boys of the Black Cherry. And they only had two. And so I got to my 12 pack. And all of a sudden... I, well, maybe it's the song. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a second because I'm even annoying my own self again with nothing to talk about. So, yep. Maybe. Mm, nope. It, yep. I, nope. All right. Okay. I probably should say goodnight because I'm. This is too much for me. And if it's too much for me, then obviously it's been too much. And maybe I'll sing to you later. Maybe I won't. I have no idea because who knows? All right. You all be safe. Don't. I don't know. Just do whatever you fuck you want to do. Bye.